Hi guys, this is IGCSC O level chemistry paper 22 March 2018 question 11. The energy level diagram for the reaction between X2 and Y2 to form XY is shown. So this is an exothermic reaction because the energy of the products is lesser than the energy of the reactants. Which statement is correct? Energy is released when X2 and Y2 bonds are broken. Bond breaking will always require energy, never release energy. So this is incorrect. Energy is needed to form XY bonds. Bond formation will always release energy, not require energy. So this is incorrect as well. The energy change for the reaction is negative. Yes, because this is an exothermic reaction. And last is the reaction is endothermic. No, it is an exothermic reaction. Therefore, option C is the correct option for this question. Question 12. Methane burns an oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. The bond energies are shown in the table. What is the energy change for this reaction? So the bonds broken are 4C single bond H bonds and 2O double bond O bonds. And the bonds formed are 2C double bond O bonds and 4O single bond H bonds. So the energy that is required would be 4 into 410 plus 2 into 496. This is the energy required. And the energy released would be 2 into 805 plus 4 into 460. So we would subtract these two values and we would end up with an energy difference of minus 818 kilojoules per mole, which would make option A the correct option for this question. Question 13. Methanol is made by reacting carbon monoxide with hydrogen. The reaction is reversible. The forward reaction is exothermic. Which combination of temperature and pressure gives the highest yield of methanol? So since it is exothermic, the temperature would have to be low. So the options are 200 and 600. So 200 is the lower temperature. So this eliminates options C and D. And pressure. Since there are three moles of reactants and one mole of product, an increase in pressure will favor the production of methanol. So a higher pressure would cause the reaction to, or rather the equilibrium to shift in the forward direction. Therefore, this eliminates option A and makes option B the correct option for this question. Question 14. The ionic equation for the reaction between zinc and aqueous copper ions is shown. So zinc converts copper ions to copper metal and itself gets converted into zinc ions, which means zinc is more reactive than copper. Which statement about this reaction is correct? Copper ions are oxidized and their oxidation state changes. No, copper ions are reduced. Copper ions are reduced because they lose electrons. They are they reduce because they gain electrons. Zinc atoms are oxidized and their oxidation state changes. Yes, zinc atoms change their oxidation state from 0 to plus 2. This is correct. Zinc atoms are reduced. No, because they gain electrons. Neither are they gaining electrons nor are they getting reduced. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option C. Question 15. In which reaction is the rate of reaction not affected by light? The conversion of carbon dioxide and water to glucose and oxygen in green plants. This is known as photosynthesis. The name includes the term photo. So light is required for this reaction. So this reaction is affected by light. The reaction of bromine and ethene. The reaction of bromine and ethene is affected by light. No, the reaction of bromine and ethene does not require light. It is not affected by light. The reaction of 
the, uh, the reaction of bromine with ethene is an addition reaction. Substitution reactions require light. So the reaction of chlorine with methane requires light and will be affected because without light, the reaction will not occur. And the reduction of silver ions to silver happens in the presence of light. Therefore, light is required in this reaction as well. So the only reaction that does not require light is the reaction of bromine with ethene, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 16. Calcium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid to form bubbles of carbon dioxide. At a higher temperature, the same reaction is faster. Which row explains this observation? The collision rate increases? Yes, because the molecules gain kinetic energy and collide more frequently. So this eliminates option C and D. And the number of molecules with sufficient energy to react would increase because all molecules would gain energy at a higher temperature. This eliminates option B and makes option A the correct option for this question. Question 17. Ethanoic acid reacts with water to produce an acidic solution. Which row describes the roles of ethanoic acid and water in this reaction? So ethanoic acid is an acid because it is a proton donor. So accepts a proton is incorrect. Donates a proton would be correct. And donates an electron is also incorrect. So automatically option C should be the correct option. But let's look at water. If ethanoic acid is a donor of protons, then water should be an acceptor of proton, which is true in rho C. So the acid is a proton donor, and in this reaction, the water is a proton acceptor, making option C the correct option for this question. Question 18. A solution of compound Z gives a light blue precipitate with aqueous ammonia. The precipitate dissolves in an excess of ammonia. So this is copper 2 plus ions. So solution Z contains copper 2 plus ions. A flame test is done on compound Z. What is the color of the flame? A blue-green flame is produced by copper. Lilac flame is produ produced by potassium. Red flame is produced by lithium. And a yellow flame is produced by sodium. So since copper 2 plus ions are present, the blue-green flame would be the color of the compound Z, making option A the correct option for this question. Question 19. Carbon, copper, magnesium, sodium, and sulfur can all form oxide. How many of these elements form acidic oxide? So carbon monoxide is neutral. Carbon dioxide is acidic. Then we have copper. So copper oxide is basic. Then we have magnesium. Magnesium oxide is basic. Then we have sodium. Sodium oxide is basic. And then we have sulfur. Sulfur dioxide is acidic. So, how many of these elements form acidic oxide? So, we've got carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide as the acidic oxides, while all the other oxides are basic. Carbon monoxide is neutral. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 20. Which method is used to make the salt copper to sulfate? So the first one is dilute acid, which would be sulfuric acid. So the dilute acid in all options should be H2SO4 with an alkali. Alkali is a soluble base. There is no alkali which has the cation Cu2 positive. So this reaction will not occur because we don't have an alkali containing copper 2 plus ions. So dilute acid would be sulfuric acid and carbonate would be Cu CO3, which would react to produce copper sulfate, water, and carbon dioxide. So this is correct. And dilute acid plus metal. Metal is copper. Copper is less reactive than hydrogen. This reaction will not occur. 
and dilute acid is sulfuric acid plus non metal oxide if it is a non metal oxide so copper would not be present in this so this reaction is useless because we cannot form copper sulfate by a reaction in which there is no copper 2 plus ions present therefore option b is the correct option for this question